There is power in the name of Jesus, mighty God. There is power in the name of Jesus. He's a good God. There is power in the name of Jesus to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Come on. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break, to break every chain, break every chain. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your wonderful, faithful people, God, who tunes into this broadcast every day. And to the new people who are now joining the broadcast, we pray that you would bless them minister to them through the Word of God. Encourage their faith. Bring hope to the hopeless, God. Someone who is weak, make them strong. Someone who is sick, bring healing. Someone who is at the end of their rope, give them strength. Give them a breakthrough. Give them a miracle. Lord, you said, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done. Have your way in and through our lives. You are fighting on our behalf. Everything is working together for good because we love you and we are called according to your purpose. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Good morning to you and a huge thank you for being so faithful to listen to this broadcast on a daily basis. We have a wonderful time bringing the Word of God to you. Amen. And this entire week, we have been in the book of Esther, and for the next few days, we'll still be in the book of Esther. And on this morning, we are talking about God is at work. Come on. Put your hands together. Open your mouth and declare it. God is at work. My God. I don't know about you, but I love seeing God at work. I love seeing the hand of God at work among his people. I love it. 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 God is at work. Now, we left off yesterday where the wicked Haman have been advised by his evil demonic wife, Jezebel, (laughs) her name's Zeresh, but she's a Jezebel, right? He's advised by his wicked wife and his advisors to go first thing tomorrow morning and approach the king and ask for Mordecai to be assassinated. I want you to think about this. It's evening time. Within 12 hours, Haman is going to be approaching the king first thing in the morning to ask to have Mordecai, God's man, the one who had raised Esther. He, Haman's going to ask for that man to be assassinated. That man who's righteous. That man who's right with God. That man who is walking with God. That man who God is watching over. That man who God is protecting. I think you know where this story is going. Someone throw your hands up and say, God is at work because no weapon formed against me is going to be able to prosper. God is at work. And the Bible says, I'm, I'm coming to chapter 6, verse 1. I love the word. The Bible says, now keep in mind, Haman is coming the next day to ask for Mordecai to be assassinated. But that night, God's working. Come on, somebody. Watch this. Chapter 6, verse 1. On that night, 
could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. Lord have mercy. Remember when Mordecai saved the king after he overheard the assassination plot, the Bible says it was documented and recorded in the book of Chronicles. And now that the king cannot sleep, the king is asking for some of the books of the records of the things that took place in his kingdom to be brought before him and to be read. This is like one in the morning, the king can't sleep. But I tell you, God wasn't allowing him to sleep because in a few hours, Haman is going to be knocking on his door asking for Mordecai to be assassinated. But the Holy Ghost is at work. Watch this. If the king asks the wrong man to go and bring one of the books of the Chronicles, the wrong man will bring the wrong book and it's over for Mordecai. Ah, but the hand of God is at work. I say God is at work. And the Holy Ghost handpicks the man, stirs the king to ask this specific man to go and pick one of the books out of all the thousands of books. The Holy Ghost guides this man, take him down into the king's library, cause him to pass up thousands of books. And right when he reached a book that had the records on how Mordecai rescued the king, the Holy Ghost, the hand of God, made that man stop and draw him to that book. And he don't even know why, but he got to grab this book. And he grabbed that book. And he don't even know why he's looking through this book. But he felt led to just open and dig and dig and dig. And when he stops, <laughs> guess what story this man stops stopped on and he's coming to read this story to the king he stopped on the very story on how Mordecai had rescued the king from the assassination plot of Big Than and t -Rash. watch this I don't know about you, but I'm sure on John, my Bible, you can see the hand of God. He's working behind the scenes because even when I don't see it, he's working. Come on. I got to sing that for somebody. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. Even when I don't see it. Cause even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop <laughs> You never stop Come on, even when I don't see it Cause even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop You never stop We make it, come on we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are my we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Cause even when I don't see it, see you with me, church. Cause even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop Now watch this Keep me in that flow Watch this Mordecai is in his house Mordecai is in his house He's knocked out sleeping And he has no idea that God is behind the scenes, making things happen. He's working it out. Just go to bed and get you some rest. He gives his beloved sleep. I mean, old Mordecai is on his pillow, knocked out sleeping. And God is working it out for him. God's working it out. I say God is at work on your behalf. The Bible says, in verse 2, and it was found written that Mordecai had told of Big Thana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, 
the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on King Ahasuerus. This is no accident that this specific story was read. This was the work of God out of all the thousands of stories. The man chose the book and opened the page to this story, right? This is God at work. Have you ever just opened your Bible and you just happen to open it right to a scripture and God begin to speak to you? That ain't coincidence. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Watch this. The Bible says, And the king said, What honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for this, that he rescued my life. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, there is nothing done for him. And as soon as they finished reading that story to the king, there's a knock on the door. That was wicked Haman coming to ask for Mordecai's assassination. But God is a thousand miles ahead of that devil. Somebody lift your hands to heaven and say, God is a thousand miles. She God is a thousand miles ahead of that lying devil. My God. Watch this. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was coming to the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself. And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought which the king himself wears, and the horse that the king rides on, the presidential limousine, yep, and the crown royal that the king wears. I mean, he wants the king position. Are you paying attention to this? <laughs> and let the apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man with all whom the king delights to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Make haste and take the apparel and the horse, as thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai the Jew that sits at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that you've spoken. Go and promote Mordecai. Go and hail him as my hero. Lord have mercy. Are you listening to this story? I mean, God is shutting the plot down. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Come on, let me sing that. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. This is for someone this morning. And when the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Because the God I serve, because the God I serve knows only how to try him. Sing it with me on this morning. And my God will never fail. Guess what? Because I'm going to see a victory. Come on. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm going to see victory. <laughs> Listen, saints. You're about to see a victory. Listen, so. The king told Haman, go and do everything that you said. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse out of raid Mordecai and brought Mordecai on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delights to honor. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate. But Haman hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered. It was Mordecai crying, now it's your turn to cry, devil. The tables have turned. It's your enemy's turn to cry. 
You see, when you cry out to God, you didn't know God was going to turn the tables on your enemies. Now it's them crying. Now it's them who are f- fearing for their lives. I tell you, when God turns the table, he does it good. And Haman told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men and Zeresh, his wife, unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shall not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberlains and hastened to bring Haman under the banquet that Esther had prepared. He was about to be wiped out. God's got your back. God is working behind the scenes. It's working together. Some will lift your hands to heaven, prophesy over yourself. Say, it's working together for my good. It's working together for my good. It's working together. Father God, me and Pastor Amy, join our faith with your wonderful people right now who are facing extreme, seriously, extremely serious circumstances and situations. But your word makes a promise to your people. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, even to those who are called according to his purpose. Let your perfect will be done in and through our lives. Not our will, but let your perfect will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We want to give someone opportunity on this morning to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, visit us online right now at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign, Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We love you all. We appreciate you. We'll never take you for granted. Join us again on tomorrow as we continue on this final week of Born to Win. God bless you. Take care. See you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.